This is Tech in the Car, I'm Oliver, and in this video I'm going to tell you about this car, the BYD Seal, why I think this may well be the best car that you can buy that's an EV, better than a Model 3 from Tesla, and you'll also see how fast it can do 0 to 60, which, spoiler, is very, very fast. So what is BYD about? Well, I have videos on the channel showing the Atto 3 and, most recently, the Dolphin, and this is the top end of the current UK and European model range. This is a saloon, as you can see, and this is a saloon designed to be luxurious, sporty, and really, really high quality. And it definitely is. And it is at a price point, which is absolutely amazing. Starting at £45,000 approximately for the rear wheel drive version, which has 313 PS, going up to £48,000, which is a very small increase relative for a 530 PS version of the car, which is this. The range goes to about 330 miles on the faster version, and it's 350 on the less fast, over 300 horsepower version. I mean, that is amazing. Because BYD are able to develop the whole integration of the vehicle and the production, it means they have their own battery called the Blade battery. Now, this is an LFP battery, which means it's got no cobalt and no nickel in it which means it's much better for the environment but also it means it's very very power dense which means you can get a smaller battery with more range which means that there's more space in the car because the battery takes up less space and therefore there's more room inside which we'll see in a little bit but also it means the car is a lot more efficient these blade batteries are incredibly safe not only are they a total different technology so instead of having a round cell like you might have in lots of other car manufacturer batteries, they are physically blades made up of wafers, which are really, really clever, which means they take up less space, but they're also super, super safe. BYD tests these batteries by putting a nail through the middle and they don't do anything. They don't blow up, they don't smoke, unlike traditional batteries, which blow up and cause a big fire, which means these are super, super safe. Now that's not to say that traditional batteries aren't safe. They are, but these are the next level of safeness. In fact, BYD also drove over the top of their batteries with a 50 ton lorry to test if the batteries could withstand that pressure and they were fine. So these are perhaps some of the safest, most advanced batteries that you can get on any EV. And BYD also produce these batteries for other car companies. But let's look at the design first of all, because I think that's really, really important because it is a bit quirky in some places. Here at the front of the BYD Dolphin, you've got the new X-Face design. It's got this swooping nose. It's got these lights with these fake vents here, which look very cool. I actually feel like it looks a bit like a Porsche Taycan from the front up to here. And then we've got this new light show down here, which looks amazing when it's on, which is its way of identifying it. And this is new, and this is gonna be coming to all the BYD models going forward. And you know a car is really sporty when the number plate is on a plinth in front, because that's just like the Ferrari Roma. Now, if there's one thing that should be obvious with this car from the side is, it's got a fantastic design. Now, I actually think the best looking saloon design that you can get right now is the Audi A3, in particular the RS3, because I think it looks amazing. But this is giving it a run for its money, because it's got a really sporty, athletic design. It's very, very well proportioned. The boot is not very long as far as the overhang goes. It's got muscular arches. It's got vents on the front here. Styling, though, not real. It's just, it's just very well proportioned, and it looks great. And I love these pop-out handles, which you can pop in and out when you're locking and unlocking. Of course, keyless entry. I think those are very, very clever. All trims of seal come with these 19 inch alloy wheels as standard, the same design. They're aerodynamic yet sporty. Let's discuss the rear design here. These lights are meant to replicate water and you can see they've got pulsing indicating lights as well, like an Audi. And they've got a dance going along. I really like this light bar. They also see through, which looks really, really good. We've got a Big, big diffuser, admittedly, not real, but a really, really cool looking diffuser. So the back of this car looks very, very nice. And it can say, BYD Silver, your note, no build your dreams here. It's more elegant, more classy. Maybe that's going away now. And then when we open this up, there's 400 liters of space. And there's also some extra space underneath here for all your charging cables. Everything fits there, there's a netting and if you're one of those people that likes a treat in the back of your car, this is the blind which goes over the huge panoramic glass sunroof that you'll see when we get in the car. Really cool that they include it so you can cover it if you wanted to do that. I haven't seen it on any other cars, 
I don't think I'd personally want to use it, but it's there. And of course, fully powered tailgate as well. So really a very, very elegant, classy package. I don't know what's up with this black area of plastic here. It's meant to make the rear window extend down a bit further. That is obviously a design feature. Obviously it looks better rather than having it stop here and have that body color. Interesting though, interesting to see. How do you tell your seal apart from the other seal? It actually says how quickly it does zero to 60 on the back here, 3.8 seconds. So that's how you know you've got a fast seal. It says the time, zero to 60 on the back. So what does sell to body mean? No, it's not a new kind of dating app. It's actually the name of the technology which allows them to attach the battery to the car, except for it's not attached to the car. It's part of the car. So when batteries are originally started appearing in electric cars, they were a bit like babies. They needed to be protected, coddled, so they wouldn't get damaged. Now the technology has progressed. So actually the battery makes up part of the body, it is the body, it is the floor of the car, which means the battery is the bottom of the car, which means there's a lot of space for you to sit in the car and maximize the room. It means that the wheels can be pushed back, the space can be larger in the middle. At 1 meter 78, that means that I've got this much space above my head to the panoramic glass sunroof. It means I've got this much space in front of my knees. It means I can basically slouch back here with this seat in my driving position and have so much space. It's just ridiculous how spacious it is back here. These seats are amazingly comfortable and the materials at the back here, just like the front, Alcantara and leather, attention to detail, it's just divine back here, as you might hear some people describe. And then we've also got at the back here, a little cover here, which then has space for two USB type Cs. This is just, just an impressive car. I say just, it is an impressive car. What is this I see? Is it a front? Indeed, it is a frunk. It is a 53 litre frunk. The first time BYD have put a frunk in the front of one of their cars and there is enough space for cables and wires and some shopping here. Decently sized and overall, this entire front design of the car is very nice. All got plastic covering it up so it looks very sleek and elegant. You can't see all the bits sticking out and we've also got our gas drop bonnet which is another sign of a quality car. Not something we have to put a faff around with a hook and a little bit of metal to keep it upright. Here in the front of the BYD Dolphin, it feels like a much, much more premium car. The interior of this car is like an 80, 90,000 pound German car. Actually, no, I take that back, it's better. I'm not convinced an RS6 or the equivalent from Audi or BMW or Mercedes feels as nice as this. These seats are quilted and stitched in beautiful leather with perforated areas. BYD is stitched into the top there of the seats. It looks amazing. We've got a massive 15.6 inch touchscreen. Let's talk interior technology. So this is the screen which we know can rotate like that, which is super, super cool. Interestingly, if you want Android Auto, it won't work in vertical, even though Android Auto is supported in vertical. You press a button and then it will transfer around like this and it only works in this mode. Now, I have to be honest, I've never seen such a large Android Auto display before in my life. So, I mean, it's impressive. This version of Android Auto does allow multiple sections. So, for whatever reason, it isn't doing it. But in theory, you should be able to have another section here and here, which can divide the screen up even more. But that is the biggest Android Auto display I've ever seen. And CarPlay is equally large on there. So, I mean, that's very, very fun to have such a big display. If you have trouble seeing your maps, you won't ever have that problem again, clearly with this car. Now, other interesting things about this car. Now, I mentioned in the quirkiness section about the fact that it changes the music with the rhythm and I can actually change it. So we've got dynamic tropical, we can change it to colorful, we can go into rhythm, sea and stars or colorful. And then when the music plays, it will start doing different colors down here, as you can see. I mean, really, really fun to have a feature like that in this car. We also have a head up display on this version. So on the top version, which is the excellence model, which is the 530 horsepower version, 530 PS, we have a head up display. We've got this 10 inch approximately 
driver's display cockpit. And of course, this is very, very good as well. We can change the modes up here. We got our timer mode, which we can use to test our zero to 60 times. And we can scroll through it. We can adjust the temperature, climate control. We can change the dial design. We can see all this information on here. And again, really, really nice. When you're in sport mode, then up the top here, it will go red. And if you're in normal, it will not be red. And if you're in eco, it will be green at the top and then back to red. So that's pretty cool. The quality inside here is fantastic. Alcantara down the side here, leather at the top. It just oozes quality in this car, not to mention the seats down here. And then we've got two wireless charging areas here so you can put your phone down and you can charge it and it'll pop off on the screen like this a bit too often, but it does it. Also, you can see that it's now changed to the dark mode because it is now the evening and so the lights have come on and they're now even changing the footwell with the music. Here we go. Yes, even with the music, it changes the footwell. I mean, how fun is that? And then we've got this enormous panoramic glass roof which stretches all the way to the back without a break which is fantastic. And don't forget, there is a blind in the boot, which you can put on there if you want to cover it up, but I don't think you should ever want to cover it up. The steering wheel is just like on the seal. It's a very nice steering wheel. It's feeling high quality. It's got our button to rotate here. We've got our adaptive cruise control and safety features there. And we've also got our infotainment features there. And we can actually also open up the 360 degree camera on here. Now it's been raining, so it's not very clear what's around us. Sorry, that's water on the camera. But we have all of the modes that you would expect, including our 360 degree view, which is a bit blurry because of the water. But also note the color of the car matches the actual color of the car, which is always a good, a good feature, which everybody loves. So very high tech in here. I am truly impressed with what you are getting for the price. For 45 to 48,000 pounds, this interior feels a lot, lot, a lot more premium. And when we go driving, we'll see if it drives and performs like a more premium vehicle. This is the BYD Seal, and just like a Seal, it's raining and it's wet, which is what Seals love. But this is a super, super impressive car there's no doubt about it this is byd taking themselves to the premium level making a car which is competing with the likes of audi and mercedes and bmw and i was about to say and tesla too but that would be unfair to compare this to tesla because this is a lot better than the quality and the drive and the technology in a tesla model 3 and this is the price point where it's going for £45,000 for this, the rear wheel drive design model, which has got 313 horsepower. And of course we have the excellence version, which is all wheel drive with 530 horsepower. This can do zero to 60 in about five and a half seconds, but I'm sure it'll be faster. We'll try it out in a little bit, although maybe the rain might affect it. This car just goes when you put your foot down. Like now, put my foot down, it just goes. This feels way way faster way way faster than a 300 ish horsepower car just byd have fine-tuned that acceleration and that performance really really well and we can talk about the blade battery and about the advanced technology and the fact this has got a range of around 350 miles you know it's got everything in this car everything all the latest technology all the latest equipment there's nothing that this car is missing let's talk about the handling of this car it just feels super sporty. You can just feel it as I go around the corners. We're coming for a corner here. We're in the sports mode now, and it's just sticking to the corner. It's just holding on to it like, like, like a sports car. This car has a torsional rigidity of over 40,000 Newton meters. That's like a supercar. That's the equivalent rigidity of this car. So this car is super, super, super stable in the corners is using the blade battery as part of the structure of this car which is something which byd are doing really really well and just driving it normally going around corners turning left turning right the handling is just spot on it really really is it just it's just a delight to drive this car and remember this is the slow model wait till we get into the 
fast model and yes i know there's a bit of a noise every now and again at the lane keep assist which i've got turned on and the safety systems which car has everything of interestingly enough byd removed a beep and now it's a more thoughtful kind of melodic noise which sounds more like maybe a water drop falling on the top of your car or maybe not but it's definitely a luxury place and a lovely place to be sitting here in this byd right let's check that zero to 60 time go now remember we've got rear wheel drive only and it is rainy today how's it gonna go do 5.88 seconds so officially 5.9 seconds it did 5.88 that's very good real drive in the rain this car feels faster than it really should be it really does i can't wait to get into the 530 version and see how fast that is because if this is fast whoa <laughs> okay let's try zero to 60 now go we got remember 530 horsepower here a really fast car there we go 3.89 seconds 3.89 seconds that is amazing so what do i make of this car well it's really fast it handles really well it's fantastic value it's got all the latest technology it's got everything you can want in a car byd are really smashing it out of the park right now and i'm really excited to see what else is coming from them don't forget to check out my other videos on the byd dolphin the atto 3 and all my other videos on the channel please do subscribe and give me a like if you enjoyed this video thank you very much for watching <laughs>